Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and I have a, a, a sad, um, I want to discuss a sad topic today. Um, so, yeah, it, so, spoiler warning for sad content. Um, and it is about Dungeons and Dragons 6E, the sixth edition of Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, so um, there should never be a, a Dungeons and Dragons sixth edition. Okay, uh, and the reason why is the, the create, so every single thing that happens on Dungeons and Dragons goes through a filter. It goes through the filter of the creative, it goes through the filter of the suit, and it goes through the creator of the D&D community member, okay? And actually the D&D, you know, the D&D community, which is formed by literally, I think, 10 to 15 million members, right? And so basically, um, the, the Hasbro creatives were like, there's never going to be another edition of Dungeons & Dragons. We just see Dungeons & Dragons as just Dungeons & Dragons. All the editions I've ever done is cause hatred and division, right? And they're 100% right. The creators were 100% correct. 1E, 2E, 3E, 4E, 5E, and um, 6E, right? It does nothing but cause division and hatred. It, and and there are an incredible amount of D&D community members who have historically said, oh, I play D&D 1E. You play D&D 5E. I hate you. For, you know, we both have D and D E. There's just one number difference, but I hate you with a burning passion, and I hope that you know all the worst things happen to you, right? And because there's one character, one number dividing the Dungeons and Dragons we play, my hatred flows to you, right? And it's it's just horrific and horrible, right? And so the creatives of Dungeons and Dragons came forward and said, "No more. We're getting rid of additions, right?" And there's no need for it. We just play Dungeons and Dragons. It's just Dungeons and Dragons, right? The suits came along and they were like, bet, rubber stamp. We, we totally agree with you. Hatred does not, hatred doesn't give us a dollar, right? It just, like, and it, it literally sundered the community in half over 4E, right? So it causes us monetary pain, right? And so the suits were like, bet, no more new additions. It's just Dungeons and Dragons, right? So the suits were all in. And here's the sad part. The Dungeon Dragon. So I I did my part. I came on and said there's never going to be another edition. I said it flat out. And I tried very hard to form new language to even talk about Dungeons and Dragons. I did my part. I got in and I worked hard to make sure there would never be a new Dungeons and Dragons edition. Right? To come on board with the creatives and to come on board with uh, with the suits. Right? And the D&D community members by and large, all over. I saw it in Twitter. I saw it on YouTube. And what really broke my heart was when I saw Teos Abadia and Sean Merwin stop thinking and just say, of course there'll be a new D&D 6E. They can say whatever they want, but um, we're just going to call it 6E, right? And laughed, laughed about it, right? Like laughed at, they're like, they they were, you know, like Sean Merwin and Teos Abadia, they have a show called Mastering Dungeons. It's right here on, on um, it's right here on, uh, uh, it is right here on um, YouTube, and you can watch it, and their material is so much better than mine, right? You should watch every video that, that on Mastering Dungeons before you watch a single one of mine, because they're just flat out better at talking about D&D than I am. And these guys are the most level-headed, wise, really kind and special, wonderful people, and if they are like, oh yeah, I don't want the addition wars to end. I, you know, give me 6E. Do not take the weapons of hatred from me. Make sure you equip me. I want to make sure that I'm equipped with the weapon of hatred, which is X number E, right? You can forget peace. I don't ever want to be unified with anybody else who plays a different addition to me. Let's make sure that we preserve additions, right? And I don't think either one of them did it on purpose, but if you can't convince Teos Abadia and Sean Merwin the most level-headed, you know, wonderful, kind, tolerant people in the community that it is a bad idea to conti- to continue the condition the addition wars. There's no possibility the D&D community will allow the weapons of hatred, which is the addition, which is 6E, number E, right? It is a weapon of hatred. And the D&D community is like F peace. We do not want peace. We want war forever. Give us forever war. And I'm I'm heart sick over this and just so upset and disappointed. But I know for a fact, if you cannot bring, if, if 
Mateo Sabadia and Sean Merwin cannot see the wisdom of abandoning the addition wars, no possibility the D&D community sees it. Because they're the best of us, right? And and if they if we couldn't even sh- if they didn't fundamentally inherently understand the incredible danger, the incredible hatred that gets spread through the addition wars, there's no possibility of convincing the majority of Dungeons and Dragons players. So D and D sixty is coming because the, and for one reason and one reason only, the D and D community demands it and absolutely refuses to meet in peace and have unity. They want the addition wars right and so you're going to hear me i'm all about language man i think language is the most important thing that's happening in the world today that on the secular side of the world and um and i'm i'm just i'm giving up i'm going to start talking about dnd 60 and d5e because i don't you know i no longer believe there's any possibility of a world in which we'll actually have a unified Dungeons and dragons community because the 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 D community had said has said said for bargle the creatives for bargle the suits we do not care we refuse to lay down our weapons of war you know our virtual weapons of this virtual edition war but there's very real pain in it right it's bloodless it's a bloodless war but there's very like there's so much disrespect so much disharmony so much disunity and the D community is like how dare you even discuss bringing me to peace All right and we're and we're going right into it and there's going to be you know, 6E is going to fight with 5E d d community members and the war will rage and, you know, there'll be virtual fires in the virtual streets because the d d community demanded it. The creatives put a paradise in front of us. The suits put a, a nice, uh, you know, opening entrance to it and we refused it. We refused it. It's on us, right? That's my humble opinion. I'm ready to hear yours. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.